All right, let's look at problem number two. A 50 gram rock is placed in a slingshot and the rubber band is stretched. The magnitude of the force of the rubber band on the rock is shown by the graph in the figure below. The rubber band is stretched 30 centimeters and then released. What is the speed of the rock? And they give us here a graph. So notice that the graph is a force versus position graph, which means that we're gonna be able to take this graph and get the work done remember that the work that is done on something is a force times change in distance if the force is constant or the force is changing like in this one then this becomes an integral dx which is going to be the area under the curve of the f versus x graph so this rubber band is stretched let me see it's stretched at 30 centimeters, so we want to know what the area under here is going to be stretched, and that's going to give us the work that's put into the rubber band. Then that energy is going to go, once it's released, it's going to go all into the kinetic energy. So the work, first that work is done into the potential energy of the rubber band, and when it's released, that work is done again onto the rock and turns into the kinetic energy of the rock. So that work that we get is going to end up being equal to the kinetic energy final, which is going to be 1 half mv squared, and we're looking for the speed of the rock at the end, so we're going to be looking for this v. And we all we know the mass, so we just need to figure out what w is. So the work is going to be 30 times 60. These are centimeters and newtons, so let's convert, let's see, let's convert centimeters to meters so 30 centimeters is going to be 0.3 meters and this is in newtons already so it's going to be 0.3 force sorry it's going to be the area which is going to be 0.3 times 60 times one half and that's going to be 0.3 times 30 which should be 9 0.3 times 60 times half gives you 9. So that's going to be how much work we do. Remember, work is in joules. Now that we have everything in meters and in newtons, everything is in SI units. This comes out in joules. And then that is going to be turned into kinetic energy. So we want to know, okay, well, if that turns into 1 half mv squared, we have a 9 equals 1 half mv squared, but my mass is in grams, so I'll convert that into kilograms. If you have 50 grams, move it over 1, 2, 3, 0 0.05 kilograms. And over here, if I want V by itself, then I will multiply by 2 and divide by M, so 9 times 2 divided by mass, 18 divided by 0 0.05. 360 and that's v squared so now we take a square root of that Get about 18.9 which runs to the 19 